In this video, we are going to create a wax resist with our watercolors and some handy dandy crayons. So I couldn't find my crayons. I looked and looked. My studio is a little <clears throat> disorganized, shall we say. But I finally found them and inside this box of crayons, I had three whites. So I don't know why I must have stolen some from other crayon boxes, but you're just going to need a white. If you don't have a white, you can use a lighter color, a yellow, a pink. Any of these colors would do, but the white is going to be the most fun. I'm going to, I don't need all three. That would be fun. Actually, I think I will. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take all three and what I'm going to do, take my watercolor paper and I'm just going to make some designs. You can actually draw something if you can see the work that you're doing. And obviously you do not need three. I'm just being silly at the moment. But I'm just making scribbles. Circular shapes. You can do lines. You can do geometric patterns. Flowers. Whatever you want to do. You can do a little, you can do a lot. I am going to do a lot because I want this to show up on the video for you. So right now, it looks like invisible ink because we've just colored around and scribbled with three crayons. Basically, dudes, all you need is one. So don't go make your mother buy three packs of crayons when you only need one. And you probably have them all around your house anyway. So then you're going to want watercolors, whatever you have will do. I'm spraying my palette down with my water bottle and then grab any kind of brush you have. Probably the bigger the better. So I'm going to use my number 12 black velvet silver. If you don't have a round brush you can use a flat anything that's just going to make this process go faster. So in this one, I'm going to stick with warm colors. So that means I'm going to use my red, my orange, my yellow, and my pinks. And in the next one, we will do all cool, cool colors, but it will be a completely different medium with our watercolors. So let me dip my brush in water. And let's start out with, I've just got a cadmium red and just like we did in the lesson with the wet on wet I'm just making random strokes with my brush nothing spectacular but you can see already that let me just pull you in a little bit closer that where I have scribbled with the crayon the, wa the watercolor is resisting. So let's use a different shade of red. This one is more of a burgundy. Crimson red is actually the name of that one. And then I'm going to move over into my pinks. Now you may choose whatever colors you want. You can mix your warms and your cool colors. But, just thought it would be fun to have different colored pieces. Since yesterday we did um, the blue and the pink and the yellow together, thought it would be kind of fun to just do some warms on the color wheel. Even though we haven't created a color wheel, we should probably do that in one of our lessons. But right now, we're just playing. All right, so that is my reds and my pinks. Let's add in some orange. And I am overlapping. And you can see that the wax of the crayons is still resisting. I'm 
I'm going to move on to my yellow. And of course, mixing the yellow with the pinks or the red will make some more orange. And the reason that I'm staying in just the warm shades is so that we don't mix our pinks with our greens or our yellow with our purples or our orange with our blues because that's going to make some lovely muddy colors. Let's throw in some of this cadmium yellow. It's a deeper And I'm just going to cover the entire piece of watercolor paper. Once again, I am using my Canson watercolor pad. It's 140 weight. I will put a link to it in the description. Pull you back out just a bit because I want you to see the whole piece. And so where I colored with the white crayons is still white. It resists the watercolor. It creates this barrier on the paper that won't allow the watercolor pigment to stick to it. So this is a fun technique that you can play with. Yours does not have to be abstract. Let me show you another. Let me. I don't want to pull that off because I don't want my colors to run together, but this is from a previous lesson where we were just playing with the different shades. I'm going to take this area here because it's lighter and I'm going to grab a crayon and what I'm going to do is just make little C shapes, kind of in a spiral. Now it's going to turn out a little odd with this blue underneath because what I'm showing you is going to be a rose. But I just wanted to show you how you can apply this to your own artwork. So we've got my wax resist and now I'm just taking my pink paint and just circling around the crayon. So you see how that has created a rose look. You could continue out on the paper to make the petals look a little more rose-like. And then you could come in, you could do the same effect with the veins of leaves and then come over the veins that you've drawn in with your white crayon with green and create the rose. But I just wanted to show you how to use this in a more, um, rather than abstract, a more concrete art project. So take this idea and play around with it, put you on some fun music to listen to, Pretend you are a kindergartner again and just color all over your paper. And in fact, adding different colors of crayon would make this pop even more. But I just wanted you to see the white with these warm colors. But play around with it and have fun creating a wax resist.